When Dan Saad came to St. Thomas in 1981, running was his passion and business his major. He got his undergraduate degree in business administration and followed that with a master's. But he made a discovery climbing the corporate ladder. All the way through those two years in sales, I couldn't get to work before 9 o'clock because <laughs> I couldn't get up. I couldn't. I, it wasn't about the money. I realized that money was not what was going to get me up every day. It was something else. What it is, is young people. You know how people get addicted to different things when they try them real young? I got addicted to coaching, so I, I love to coach. And um, that's where I, I just had to go back to youth. He did, coaching the cross-country team at Prior Lake High School. You can actually see how he touches kids, regardless of their abilities or how fast they run or what kind of grades they get in school or what their family is like. Dan just touches kids. They're going to pay you. Pay you to do it. Knock on doors. You like that, don't you? He took those same skills and set to work on a program to help troubled kids. For some reason, a nonprofit made sense. Uh, March 95, I incorporated Safe Haven Shelter for Youth. I went to my dad, who was telling me, get your resume out there, get your resume out there. And uh, I said, I want to start a nonprofit, and he said, I'll help you. Since then, Safe Haven has helped hundreds of young men and women who were leaving foster care, coming from an abusive environment, or just needing time and space to get their lives together. Guys, I just need you to open these up. They just need a little help. And Safe Haven will provide that help to make sure they get on their feet. Because we're trying, our part of our mission is to build positive, lasting relationships and, um, with youth and young adults. And uh, we, we're going to do that for them. We're going to stick with them. They stuck with Dylan, who was 17 when he came to Safe Haven 10 years ago. My options were to get a job, go to school, you know, stuff like that. Get the ball rolling to start living like a normal human being again. Dylan got his high school degree a job, and a good mentor in Dan's side. You feel very comfortable sitting down talking to him. Haven't done this for a while. And so if I can find something that they like, whether it's school, football, whatever it is, I'm going to make sure that they get that opportunity to do that. So I'll try to link them to what they'd like to do, and then maybe I can get them to accept that. But I also try to grab that trust and say, I'll take you. It'd be nice if those assets, like everybody else who has assets, were cash, but they're not. Saad has taken Safe Haven from a small shelter to a five-building campus, two residential group homes in Prior Lake, two transitional homes in Burnsville, and a brand-new welcome center with subsidized housing for young adults. We are the only self-referral agency down here south of the river where a kid can knock on the door and say, I need help, and we can take them in. I like pizzas. I like making it makes me feel important. When you deal with homeless in the suburbs, you know, they're not out there with a sign saying, I'm homeless. Though these kids, uh, for the most part, are, are couch hopping house to house until they get kicked out by the next one, by the next one. And then all of a sudden, it's cold out and they get kicked out. And where do they go? I used to work at Clancy's in Jordan, yeah. and they make pizzas there. It's, it's one of those things where you just have to have a chance. And if you work the program right, like you and Dylan were talking about, if you work the program right and put your effort in, you can take advantage of our program and make it. Oh, that's perfect. Just how you make it at Safe Haven is pretty clear to anyone who's been there. One day at a time, tell the truth, and if you screw up, admit it. That's pretty much uh, the rules of life right there. Helping kids understand the rules of life... Thanks for being here. ...is what makes this father of five... You have dance today? ...the St. Thomas Humanitarian of the Year. When they say, hey, I'm going to make it, that's what Dylan did. I'm going to make it. It doesn't matter what you people say. I'm going to make it. And he did it.